Hello everybody, this is me Johan here. Now, it's really exciting to use super fast charging in your phones, right? OnePlus has got the work charge, Realme has got the work charger, 30 watt charge, 50 watt charge, and recently 65 watt charge for the Oppo Reno 4 Pro. Now, all of this looks really exciting. Or is it exciting? Here are my reasons why I feel there are significant disadvantages to this form of charging. Now let me start with the advantages. The very obvious advantage is it tops up your phone's battery very quickly. And this makes everyone very happy. The Realme X2 Pro super fast 50 watt charger charges its reasonably big 4000 milliampere battery in just 29 minutes. And the recently launched Oppo Reno 4 Pro's insanely crazy 65 watt charger charges its 4000 milliampere battery in 35 minutes. Even the 30 watt warp charge charges a OnePlus Nord in just 52 minutes. All of this sounds great, right? There are downsides to this too. The types of batteries used in smartphones are lithium polymer and lithium ion. On an average, the normal smartphone battery lasts between two to two and a half years using a normal charger. In the case of super fast charging, with increased speed of charge, there is an increased degradation in the battery cells. To give you a few examples, one of my friends purchased a OnePlus 7 last year. It too came with a fast charger. He was initially getting one and a half days of battery backup. And just recently, a year into using the phone, he reported that the phone was lasting him for just about 18 hours on a charge with a similar kind of usage and sometimes not regularly, it would last close to a day. That's quite a hit in just a year. Another friend of mine using the OnePlus 7 Pro reported a similar incident like this where his battery degraded quite a bit in a year's time of usage. Quite honestly, this will be the case with most Realme X2 Pro and Oppo Reno 4 Pro users one year down the lane. The second disadvantage of this is as it charges quickly, it is obviously producing more heat and due to this may cause the phone heating related issues over time, which in turn would result in the degradation of the battery performance and if irresponsibly charged regularly for extended periods of time, may result in battery bulge much sooner than expected. My verdict is very clear. Although this tech sounds good and is quite exciting to use initially, it is not reliable in the long run and I feel this is a marketing gimmick used to lure customers into buying their products. I would recommend all of y'all looking for longevity in your battery, those who own phones with super fast chargers that charge a 30 watt and above, to purchase a standard 15 watt or up to maximum 18 watt fast charger provided by the smartphone company itself on the official websites and use it regularly. Companies like Realme and Xiaomi provide them on their official online stores. It may charge your phone in say 1 hour and 30 minutes, which is again not bad. And use the super fast charger only while traveling extensively. In such situations, a quick top up would be great, but otherwise avoid using it. So that's it for me today guys. I hope you guys liked the video. If you guys love the video, I'd appreciate it if you guys could give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And do hit the bell icon so that you all get notified with the latest and greatest videos. The second they are uploaded on YouTube by me. So what else can I say? Wishing all of you a tremendous day ahead of you. Ciao for now.